Welcome back to the Scriptwriter's Table. I'm David Lucas, president of Winding Trails Media and a fellow writer. And we're talking right now about why to write audio plays. And in fact, we're going to start digging deeper. And that is we're going to talk about some, one of the big ways that write, writing audio plays and writing any other media out there is completely different. <clears throat> The audio play is almost a lost format, which is sad because it's coming back and coming back with a vengeance. NPR and BBC have kept the art alive as well as other audio play companies that are out there. And I thank you for them. In fact, NPR, I can't thank you enough because you got me interested in audio play as well as a little kid because you produced Star Wars, the radio drama, Empire Strikes Back, the radio drama, and Return of the Jedi, radio drama. Perfect timing, got me hooked, and then of course I went back and found old time radio dramas much later in life and just really got immersed. So how is a radio drama or audio drama, I'm gonna use those terms back and forth, different than say writing for television? writing a movie, writing a short story, writing a novel. How is it different? The difference is what you're writing for. You're writing for the ear. You're writing for the mind. Now, you could say television writes for the mind. You could say movies write for the mind. You could say novels write for the mind, and you'd be correct. There's a different way of doing it. Television has a visual aspect, same thing with movies. So I'm just gonna say, when I say television, I'm talking about television, I'm talking about movies as well. Television has a visual aspect to it. And the script format is different than an audio play. Writing for stage is different than writing for audio plays. Anything you've written before as far as the story is concerned, fiction or nonfiction story can be transformed into an audio play with a little effort. Since the audio play is um, playing upon the ear, everything revolves around three things. This is called the trio. Now, I'm gonna pause for a second. One of the things that where a lot of what I'm going to talk about over the next several months is coming from is a book that's out of print. And I have found one, if you can find it at your local library, use bookstore, um, whatever, I would suggest reading this book. This is called Handbook of Radio Writing by, as I almost drop it, by Eric Barnow. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. This was written in the time of the golden age of radio. It is what a TV script writing Bible or formatting book would be to a TV script writer, a novel format book to a novel writer. This goes through everything on how to do it. But since it's out of print, and I know that it's not easy to write an audio play, well, yet it is easy to write an audio play. It's a weird dichotomy going there. We're going to go through, we're going to talk about what's in this book over the next several months, breaking it down for you to be able to write a good audio play. And this starts with writing the trio. What is the trio? To make a good, sorry, I know that American Sign Language is it's rusty, but it's still there. I have a tendency to count in ASL, so... This to me is not three, that is six, this is three. So the three things on the trio, sound effects, music, dialogue. If you're like me, you took a class, multiple classes probably in college, high school, you may even have your masters of fine arts in writing, I don't, but you might. How many times have you been told, show, don't tell? Yeah, you probably just thought more times than there's sand on the beach. It's still true in audio dramas, but it's more telling than showing. 
is a fine line of fine balance, and that's part of the difficulty of writing an audio drama. So over the next several months, we're going to go break these down, everything down, all the tricks and the formatting and everything else on how to write a radio drama. But before we can begin, you need to understand three parts. And we're going to break, start breaking these down tomorrow with sound effects. So sound effects, music, and dialogue. Dialogue is your workhorse. The other two come into play, but they are not separate. Find out what I mean tomorrow. Okay, before you go, I'm going to ask you a few things. Please, a couple of favors. One, actually all of this. Go to www.windingtrailsmedia.com. Now, why am I sending you there? One, we are right now looking for scripts. So if you look at the script call page, it will tell you what we're looking for. Uh, all the rules, because we've got certain requirements we need to meet to produce these audio plays. Point blank, figure family friendly, but basically we're open to all genres, except for, sorry, family friendly, the like erotica's out. Uh, it's not personal, just the nature of the beast of where we're producing these at. Um, but everything else, so horror, sci-fi, mystery, westerns, mem memoir. Did I miss something? Yeah, probably did, a lot of them. But please, if you, if you have an original story, then feel free to pitch it, even if you're not done. If you've got a short story you think you can transform into a audio play, a stage play that you can transform into an audio play, pitch it. Do not send me the entire script without me asking for it. Because if you do, I won't look at it. Um, just point blank, just telling you. I want the pitch first, and then I'll then we'll decide on whether or not we can produce the play. Let me know if it's complete or not. I be completely open. And the the rules on how to pitch are on the page. Um, by the way, I want to thank Brad Cook, who is a member of the Right Pack and is on Right Pack Radio. He's a constant panelist. He helped produce the um, pitch rules. So check him out. Check out uh, writerslens.com. I used to contribute to that. Brad still does. He's got a whole thing on pitching. Actually, a couple different blog posts on pitching. Spot on. Best, best resource. Okay. So that's the one reason why I want you to go to windingtrailsmedia.com. Second one is there is a free monthly newsletter. I will not fill your email up with newsletters every single day, every single week, once a week, once a month. And it's going to talk about open calls for scripts, open calls for casts, um, things about writing, radio, old time, current, you name it. It's going to have a lot of stuff going on. It's going to be worth the time for you to get it, and it's completely, totally free. So please go to windingtrailsmedia.com, sign up, and at this point in time, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Have a great day writing. Take care.